The brothers are back. Mike and Marco here and join us as we check out Sword of Convalaria. Long story short, if you like Final Fantasy Tactics, you're going to want to check this one out. It's a two-in-one tactical RPG that consists of a gacha half. Yes, yes, no, we'll get more into that. And a roguelike mm -hmm. half. <laughs> Both with full separate campaigns that somewhat link. It has a lot of juicy characters and customization options and not only does it look like FFT, it sounds like it too because the composer is actually the same guy. Okay, uh... So if you're new to this channel, we do what we call a review light of these kind of games. And that's like a let's play slash first impression kind of thing so you can get an idea if it's a game that you want to check out for yourself. Don't forget, guys, check out our links below, connect with us on Discord, etc. And without further ado, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Okay, so yeah, you, you're about to witness some uh, gacha elements. The good old daily login. But, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not for everyone, but uh, yeah, you'll see. So, first of all, I just want to show you guys... How about we show these guys what... Some uh, well, action. Some man. action, let's get, yeah. let's get straight into the action. Alright, but like, first, let's let's appreciate just how beautiful this game's <laughs> pixel art is, man. I mean, it 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 I has the, say, yeah, the <laughs> tactics vibe. Oh, you know what's interesting? Yes. Um, I, isn't, that, isn't there a place here in your kind of home area that you can customize... You can, you can. Yep, like this. We'll get yeah. into that later. We'll get uh, into that later. Yeah, there's all sorts of things you can do this game. So, just to uh, get some combat here. If you're familiar with doing gachas, this is getting the shards of character shards. If not, uh, we'll explain that later. So, yeah, here you. I mean, it's just like tactics, right? You deploy from your roster. Mm hmm. Yeah, here I got Gloria, uh, Simona, and Momo, the good old waifus uh, repping. Oh, let's get into it. It has voice lines in case you're wondering. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A lot more. Uh... Sounds really. Yeah. Sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, like the combat is very satisfying. And look at that. The animations, the sound, the music. There's global effects. Yep. Um, the... Also environmental damage and, and effects too, like that fire on the ground that you see there. And the graphics are really good. And I think each character looks really unique somehow unique right? even yeah. their skills are unique so you might for those tactics players you're already familiar with you know what you're seeing here there if there's a character called agrius and they kind of have their take on how that looks like for them here in sword of corn yep agrius is a fan favorite in tactics <laughs> after all and this mm -hmm. is the character marco was talking about We'll see more of Gloria later. But yeah, I mean, check out the animations. Look at that. Look at that. It's really, it's really... It's really good. So yeah, for most people, I mean, there there is a subset of people out there. With, huh. Just by seeing this, they've already clicked off this video and uh, searched this up. And in case you're curious, this game is actually cross-platform. Man. So you can get it on your Steam That's and right. on your phone. It's a huge deal, right? There you go. We've had the um, privilege of playing this for a while before getting into this review. I do have to say, it it's really interesting and nice yeah, to play. Definitely. So I guess for now, Marco, what do you think? Let's check out the character customization options. Cause I think any, that's the best thing to do. Yeah, yeah. people who check this out. This is the first thing that you know that they would be curious of, right? So let's let's get into the meat of it. Well, first of all, we do have 
a bunch of characters and you know a lot of people might think yeah okay it's a gacha so only the legendary characters are good but that couldn't be further from the truth even these trash tier bronze characters are actually useful like there are i mean they're just good characters not every legendary is amazing not every you know common guy is useless they can all be built to fill a certain niche and some of the lower rarity guys are just actually good and then marco why don't we check out gloria our favorite character yeah. in ff tactics was agrias so uh, why don't you uh, get into it or tell us about the uh, character customization, man. So there's a lot going on here, guys, but it's it's quite intuitive once you start playing. Um, you can see the levels. I think it's important to look at the ranking system. So over there in the top right, um, there's a unique system here. So it's a stair step system for skills. As you level up the character, you get the different rank. And you get to choose between the left side or the right side which one you want to activate. You can't choose both. You can, but you need a specific resource which is called a Castalia, which is that uh, orb with that orb there, that blue orb. Yeah. And um, so what some people do is eventually as they um level up their characters they get castalia and they just open up whatever makes sense because in some characters they're on the same rank each of those skills are good so if you just highlight on some of the skills for gloria Mike, yeah so let's say in level one you can choose between knightly spirit which is a passive that you know she's much stronger in frontal combat or a aura that reduces the enemy's attack by you can 10%. see how ver you can see how the customization here is really interesting because depending on what you choose on these skill sets, the character becomes a whole different yes person to play. And just imagine for each character you have this this much of a variety to choose from. So the the possibilities of combos you can make as a team is just a lot limitless <laughs> yeah. yes yeah so and all okay. those skills that we can unlock in the ranking system you can then slot them in here sadly you can't mm -hmm. use all of them at once but you can use enough i mean they're the basic active and passive skill slots there's a reaction skill slot which is the counter attack very similar to ff tactics and you can change your basic attack now aside from that uh, let me talk about the star system so anyone who played a gacha would know what this is so every character has a unique trait in gloria's case you know she gets a flat percentage attack boost and she gains something called potential burst when she loses her flag mm -hmm. i mean it's a very character specific trait now as you get more shards from that mission we did earlier these gloria shards memory of gloria Look how beautiful she is, man. I gotta say. The the, the art, right? The waifu. And, it, you know, it may be a pro or con for some people here, but there's not a lot of fan service here. If I, I, I don't think there's even one. I haven't seen a single fan service. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, instead of bikini armor, you got a fully clad knight here. L look at this. Yeah. Right? Anyway. Yeah, but look at the drawing quality. Yes. This is yes. amazing. Yes. And nothing against the uh, scantily clad waifus out there. I mean, we're, we're, we're all enjoyers. I'm just uh, pointing it out that uh, this game is uh, a bit special compared to other gachas in that regard. Yeah. In any case, yeah, as you level up Gloria with more shards, the passive also improves. Sometimes you just get better numbers, like from 15% here, attack, it now becomes 20. Uh, but... Uh, from let's say from two to three star potential burst her special buff now has increased movement by two tiles when she gets three stars and finally at five stars she even gets a completely new line that she just ignores 50 percent of the enemy's defense straight up so yeah <laughs> i mean they do become stronger through the trait hey, marco can you uh 
run us by what else? The I guess the gear system. Yeah. So the gear system, you have a weapon, you have a defensive trinket, and you have a what's called parrot whisper. Um, they're just basically gear slots. Um, each character has unique weapons that they can use. So Gloria would have what is it? Spears, axes, yes, etc. Um, different characters that have different um, gears, and the gear system works kind of like the character system. If you have duplicates of a certain gear type, you can level them up in star rating, and it would increase the gear skill that you see there at the bottom from of each. Equipment. Why don't we Why don't we show a example of this? So look at this yeah. pendant halberd. Increase HP by two percent before taking a single target attack and gain ten percent bonus attack and defense. So I have two of these. Now, if I wanted to, so. To Marco's point though, every piece of gear or every relevant piece of gear has its own passive effect, a unique passive effect. So if we add our duplicate pendant halberd, it now becomes two star. Mm -hmm. So while you do get bonus stats, what you're really after here is the improved passive. So from 2% gain, it's now four. Four. And then it scales yeah, all, all the way, the way to five. Yeah. Five stars. Ten. No, no, the stars. Uh, yeah. Five stars. Five. Yes, the stars. Ten yeah, buff, uh, yeah. right. Ten percent for the yeah. So yeah, so not only do your characters have their own skills and passives, they have their own special trait, and you have three other passives technically that you can use from each gear slot, right? So the customization is really crazy. You can really make your own dream team, and you know while we're here, let's check out the other characters, right? Uh, look, oh wow, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Yep, another member of the Union, of which Gloria is the leader. Simona is an ice mage, an ice knight. Look at the art, bro. Look at the art. Yeah, that's... But Simona is beautiful. I mean, I, you I'm, really... uh, yeah, I'm not a simp, man, but dude. And yeah, we got our, uh, you know, younger looking uh, characters as, as, uh, as usual. Yeah, the art is incredible. And the, the pixel art, as you can see, a preview of their avatars as well. Right? Yep. And aside from uh, this, in the so for the gacha hat, there's really a lot you can do. You don't have to run by a lot of it. But the major thing is, you know, for those who don't play a gacha, and well, uh, don't blame us if you get into it because of this game. You know, you, you, you essentially do these daily quests that... Uh, give you resources to improve your characters. So, you know, Radiant Forging gives you resources to improve weapons, let's say. And, you know, you get extra rewards once a day, which is kind of like a daily quest, quote-unquote, to get you logging in every day. Star Trial gives you resources to improve talents, which I'll show you later. And the list goes on. You know, you got something for uh, EXP, uh, basically yeah, all sorts of the resources you will be needing for the game. And there are even like boss battles, man. Like straight up boss battles that are actually very challenging. Uh, so we'll have a preview of the fight here. Yeah. There yes. you go. There you go. So on a side note, yeah, that music built. So yeah, what? Uh... So as we mentioned earlier, this is a two-in-one game. So there is a gacha half, and there is a roguelike tactical rpg tacked on to it man so marco man uh walk us through the spiral of destiny yeah so this is a really interesting content type um it's a blend of storyline quest management and town building so if you go to the map real quick michael okay okay let's just yeah, skip so this did, story well, first okay go ahead um so what happens is you you go through a storyline and that changes the destiny of the gotcha the world. broader yes yeah gotcha world <laughs> um so okay so here's here are the elements of what what you can do in the spiral of destiny so everything happens in the leader's office you get your quest there um, that's where the storyline happens. You get to make decisions that will impact what happens here in the actual town. 
um, and also what happens in the gacha world. So, uh, the interesting part is after you go through a run, you know, you can finish the game, quote unquote, um, you have the chance to go through it again and change the destiny some more. So, that's all we know at this point in time. It's, it's quite fascinating. You can sink hours and, and hours, hours on this. So let me touch into that. Like basically yeah. in this mode, it is a, a roguelike. So, and it has like a lot of branching paths in the story. So the idea is you finish one branch and then you redo from a certain checkpoint that, yeah. Uh, you finish the other path, so you don't have to start from the very beginning. Uh, you can use your characters from the gacha side, but it's completely optional. Like, you can survive with just what you have here. And it's kind of like a weekly thing. Like every week in this mode, you get some quests that you have to fulfill. And it, it, you know, it advances the storyline. So why don't we check that out? Uh, let's go... Let's uh, choose one of these random ones. Uh, yeah. I mean, defeat all enemies. Okay, why not? So yeah, every week in this world, uh, you get a new quest, an important quest. Sometimes you get like a story quest. And you can summon from your from your gacha half by selecting this Elysium tab. You can see I have them here. But, you know, they are usually very powerful compared to what you have in this mode so it's kind of like a quote unquote hacks or cheat so yeah just to preserve the challenge you know you just use whoever you have here yeah okay so let's uh, deploy whoever we have here just... and yes it's voiced right so i mean i don't know man look at the the quality of like the art it, and the music it's just i mean if you're a fan of tactics i i i have to say it again it, it's worth yeah it's worth checking out just for that yep. so yeah marco why don't you tell us like how how you how you felt like why did you start playing this game when i told you about it well, I mean, I'm a huge, we're both huge tactics fans, so the moment you told me about it, it piqued my interest. And when I started just even looking at it and some of the gameplay, it already made me want to play. So, like, look at this. I mean, yeah. as you progress through this game, there are lots of different challenges. So, if you really enjoy positioning, you know, setting up combos, Taking advantage of environmental effects, um, different weaknesses, and the whole complexity that this type of game provides. These guys have done it really well, um, and you'll enjoy that part of this this fighting um, sequence. Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, it's one thing if they just tried to bait us with nostalgia, right? Like, okay, but the game is actually, it's it's nuanced. It's uh, the team building aspect. You know, every person enjoys these kinds of games in their own way, right? Um, the team building aspect here is what I enjoy the most. Because, yeah, there's so many levers that you can pull to customize, right? Yeah. And yeah, coming up with a ultra team and you know, changing your build for specific boss fights, uh, leveling up other characters just so your roster is more flexible. It's something you look forward to, I guess. And you know, if you don't like the gacha hat, you can always just enjoy... You, you, you could try the game out just for this, the, the, the Spiral of Destinies. Yeah. And which I haven't been playing so much of, but I regret it. Like, I, maybe I'll catch up with that. I think I'm the one who's been been playing more of the Spiral of Destinies in our. Yes. Between both of us. Ooh. So sometimes you do get these random skills. Hmm. So, according to a lot of people, what a lot of people say is. So while. 
the gotcha half you know i mean if you're if you like that it's fine you know, me and marco are you know playing that every now and then but like in this mode in spiral of destinies you can actually have more unique and powerful builds as the game progresses because you have these custom training manuals or like there are things you can do in this roguelike mode that cannot let's be go done. through each of the each All of right. the functions so All this right. is the quest right yes go to the map so there's a training yeah this Hub. is the training section in the training section go click on someone you can train yeah you can, you can choose to level them up you can choose to give them a specific passive yes um you can choose to give them a new skill um and look at the tailored training these are all random and custom and yes you, the, you acquire them throughout doing the throughout the battle so you mode. so sometimes in battles you get these manuals that you can give them these passives so yeah look uh when when countering you get lifesteal uh, when it's not your active turn, you deal more damage, so it's people with counter attacks. Oh, there you go. So already you have some kind of synergy here. Some basic passives too, like increase critical chance or attack. So you can get some pretty wild combos as time progresses. So let's see, let's try to give somebody a custom training. Uh, oh, the characters you use though, they get quote unquote tired and they can't train for that week. But yeah, as you can see, uh, yeah, you can you can do a lot here or you can also Try to uh, we'll try doing this for this week To show them what it what it looks like So there's also this where they can get a random passive that you choose from so let's uh, Set this guy on that training and we'll show you the results after one One week, which is one cycle in this game So the other things you can do are what what do you want to check out next? There's the uh tavern and that's where you recruit new people yeah so um, the tavern refreshes every four weeks at the start yeah so we can and the guys. rarity is also applied here sometimes you can get some ultra rare people they come with better stats and better skills yeah. um so yeah, yeah some you have to review them because sometimes you get some bangers here like this guy this archer is not bad Bruno. Uh, this is just a generated character. He has some decent skills. You know, I might as well recruit him. Might as well. And there are uses for them. There are uses for these recruits. Because as you can see in the town, uh, you have these missions that you send them on. Like, uh, yeah, they, like, they're not just idle in the base. There are things you can do with these people. Uh, what else? There's a forge where you can uh, make new new weapons or yeah get more metal for for your base. Uh, what else, Marco? Uh, yeah, so the the sanctuary gives a temporary blessing for a few weeks. Yeah, it's random. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. So you get to choose one of three. So the character that you bless gets that. Uh, mm -hmm. nothing great here. I guess this is the basic one. So at the start of the turn, they regen a bit of their life. Why not? So... There you go. So she gets a, a new passive on top of whatever she already has. Uh, what there else? You go. The Luxite work There's workshop. There's a Luxite workshop which uses um, TP or I think it's turn points. Yeah. Basically, th this uh, there are global effects that you can summon or yeah, non-character based skills. Like in this case, you know, Mike's looking at thunder shock. So well, when you're in the game, you can just click on that and it does something unique. There are some really interesting skills that are here that you can use during the during the fight. Yes. The fights. So basically, yeah, here you improve those like uh global skills. I was just that looking you at yours, use. you wouldn't believe this, but mine because I think what am I on? Week forty two. That means I do forty two rounds of go doing quests and yeah all that stuff. I don't know, I just like randomly just start playing it. it it's quite interesting because 
you can really build up char your characters, a specific character, train a specific character, or a group of characters, and the resource management and everything. It just brings a whole new dynamic that's not even in the gacha. Yes. So, you know, as the game, you're playing two games, really. Yeah. So, like, uh, in, in that regard, yes, it is a two-in-one, like we mentioned. Like, it's... There's many ways to enjoy it, and it is cross-platform. It's such a huge thing, like being mobile and Steam. I don't know, I just find it so practical. And for the sake of research, I will abandon this run. So I will show you guys what happens when we do abandon a run. Okay, so, I've never done that. So when you abandon your spiral run, okay. All right. You get like a score and you get these uh, beacons, but more importantly, you get knowledge level. <coughs> okay, and I'll show you how that affects. Okay. So basically, yeah. It, when we enter Spiral of Destiny again, before you do that, uh, Yes, you can upgrade your Astral Path, which is like the meta progression of this mode. So whenever you start a new game, uh, you get a new Augment slot. Additional Backtrack Attempts, which is another very unique part of this game that you can rewind right. three times. Yes, I will show that, or we should have shown that. Okay, yes. I mean, it's pretty simple. Yeah, if you a fail thing. in a fight, you yeah. can actually backtrack. You Which can backtrack anytime, actually. Really useful. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, anytime. So yeah, this is a... Uh... Oh, I didn't get any new Astral Tears. Which is the currency used to get these new nodes. And if you think that it's just it's just this, you know, it's a little system that they just added in there. Nope. <laughs> it's yeah. really... It's, it's something. The depth yeah. of this game is really something to... Yes. Applaud. No. The developers for here's another way so let's say you do um start a new run you don't have to start from the beginning so in this mode in this specific story you have to ally with certain nations so let's say in this one um, i i want to do the order so gain reinforcements from the order will be easier okay so let's select this beacon what is this rescue in the long line so let's uh, let's start okay. you use a key and you select from let's see rescue in the long night so i want to do the union the the order playthrough okay we select an augment which is increased HP of allies by 5%. So yeah, like there is a meta yeah, progression. This is really, yeah. This is really crazy because like... They, you can take these guys people. have thought about a lot of people. Yeah, you can take people a lot of from things. your... From the... the Spiral of Destiny. Oh no, from your... Uh, from your gacha side of the game. Yes, yes. So uh, who do we... Uh, I want... Well, Burial... Hmm. Call burial. You know what? I don't want burial. I want mobile. Yeah, so that you can select up, up three guys if you want to bring in or none. I mean, you don't even have to use them if you don't want to. So when we start here, we'll see. Oh, and yep, there are. Cutscenes. Unique cutscenes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I guess to prevent spoilers, we'll just skip this, but yes. Yeah, uh, this anime cutscenes. So, yeah, we start from week 10. So, yeah, there you go. And at any time. Oh, yeah, we'll skip the story. At any time, you can just go in and out of this mode. Uh, you're done playing. Just go back to. The regular lots of skipping, yeah, sorry. 
don't want to spoil it for anyone. But yeah, you have mini goals here too, to increase your reputation and all that. Uh, there's like a starter pack that you get. Okay. So with that, I mean, you've seen everything that the game has to offer, which is in fact two things. So, mm -hmm. yeah, what are your ending thoughts, Marco? I think if you're going to consider this game, there's lots of things that, and there's lots of thought and care that has been put into this game from a development perspective. Um, as far as action RPG, I mean, as, fa as far as tactics type gameplay goes, if you're looking for something like that, then this definitely has lots of options for you to play around with and experiment on. And you can spend hours just tweaking the characters tweaking you know how how to play certain levels um it it's really well thought of from that perspective yeah um i i echo all of that like um again there are two separate modes the gacha half and the spiral of destinies i mean you can enjoy one the other or ideally both right so there's something for you to check out here. Uh, and I, to reiterate, yes, if you are a fan of Final Fantasy Tactics, of FFT, you owe it to yourself to at least have a look, right? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so yeah, those are the closing thoughts. Uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing game, amazing art, amazing sound, great gameplay. Uh, there will be more coming soon, so there you go. This was Sword of Convalaria, and Mike here and uh, Marco, we'll see you next time. See you next time.